Hi there everybody, this is Ms. Nelson here and today we are doing Lesson 3.6 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 3.6 is called Choose a Multiplication Method and basically it's a review of all the other lessons that we have done so far in Chapter 3. So we're reviewing a couple different ways in this lesson to solve multiplication problems. We're going to first review the partial product way to solve multiplication problems, and then we'll go over um, regrouping or the traditional way. So here we have um, the partial products method, and it gives us a um, little scenario problem up here. It says, did you know that using math can help you prevent from getting a sunburn? The time that it takes to burn without sunscreen multiplied by the SPF or sun protection factor is the time that you can stay in the sun safely with sunscreen. If today's UV index is 8, Aaron will burn in 15 minutes without sunscreen. If Aaron puts on lotion with an SPF of 25, how long will she be protected? Well, we're supposed to multiply the SPF and... Um, so we're going to be doing the SPF of 25 by the time, which was 15. So 15 times 25 is our problem, or 25 times 15. So this partial product way, again, you would draw your rectangle here. You're going to have, since you have four numbers in your problem, 25 has two and 15 has two, you'll have four boxes. And then you will put 10 and 5 on this side, because that equals up to 15. 20 and 5 over here, because that equals up to 25. Now this first box here is 20 times 10, which is 200. That's my first partial product. Then my second box that I want to do is right here. That's 10 times 5, which is 50. That's my second partial product. The third box that I want to do right here, 20 times 5, that's 100. That's my third partial product. And then my last box right here is 5 times 5, which is 25. So that's my fourth partial product. When I add 250 and 125, I get 375 for my final answer. So that is the partial product method. If you're doing the partial product method, it will probably really help you to draw a diagram like this so that you can see that you do tens times tens, tens times one, and so on and so on. So you can see all your four partial products very clearly and then add them up. So that is the partial product way of multiplying. And then we also have, let me go on to my second step here. So we also have our traditional way or regrouping way of multiplying. And when we do that, we usually, we're doing the same problem, 15 times 25. When we do that, we estimate first just to make sure it's reasonable. So the 15 rounds to 20 and the 25, they've rounded to 20. I would round it to 30. But either way is going to be fine. 2 times 2 is 4 and add 2 zeros is 400. And then the traditional way of multiplying I'm going to do it down here where I have more space, is 7 times 3, which is 21, so I put a 1 there and I carry my 2, then 7 times 4, which is 28, plus the 2 that I carried, which is 30. And then I always tell my students, cross out what you carried so you don't get confused, and put your 0 as a placeholder in the 1s, because now we're moving to our 10s. So 5 times 3 is 15. Put my 5 here, carry my 1. 5 times 4 is 20, plus the 1 that I carried is 21. And then I add those together. 1 plus 0 is 1. 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then the 2 just drops down. So 2,451. 
All right, so I hope that helps you to understand a couple of the different ways that we have learned how to multiply two digit by two digit numbers. And, oh, I just realized this is a different problem than this one up here, but it gives you the same idea. If we were going to round this one to get an estimate first, that would be 40 and 60. So I do my basic fact of 6 times 4, which is 24, and then add my two zeros. So 2,400, and it's close to this, so I know my answer is reasonable. If you are in my class, I want you to write down in your planner the secret word is pumpkin for this lesson. That lets me know that you've watched the entire video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave me a message. Thanks.